Today's Stuff Like Tunes is gonna be a cut about the rest. Yo dudes and do that, it's your friendly neighborhood Jack Splite here. And yes, today I'm finally doing Roar No Azoro. Like, I've been waiting to do this one for a while, but I just wanted to make sure, you know, a few things were on point before doing it, and my shoulder was feeling a bit better, so I thought, why the hell not? Now, Zoro is one of the main rare characters in One Piece that has no Devil Fruit ability. And for those of you who don't know what One Piece is, in One Piece, they have characters that have these abilities that they get from Devil Fruits, which give them just all these badass super metahuman abilities. But Zoro decided to go all Batman and just go, uh-uh, I need that. I'm just going to do some hardcore training, become the strongest swordsman there ever was. And through blood, sweat, and effort from a young age to now, he has become one of the most lethal, powerful straw hat pirates and just one of the most powerful characters characters in the series. It's really insane because it's the fact that he has no special ability. He just trained his ass off. And so you know that's my training fetish right there. He trained his ass off. Like he whoops characters with these special abilities all the time like nothing because he worked so hard. So for today's Stuff Like Tunes, I figured we'd focus on the training that Zoro does in the Thousand Sunny weight room that Frankie made for him. Now, Zoro is a lean, ripped, strong guy. Like that's one of the main things about him. Like his strength like surprises people because he doesn't have big bulky muscles. He has like some nice kindes, well-built muscles for his physique, especially after the two-year gap, but I guess that's what you get after fighting a bunch of baboons and stuff. So today's oh, training yeah. kept that in mind. We're gonna focus on getting you a nice, lean, powerful, and strong physique, just like Roran or Zoro does. All right, first exercise is barbell and dumbbell curls, cause Zoro is always constantly doing these. Now, I want you to pick a good heavy weight and do three sets of five to eight reps. So that'll really help you with your strength and really focus on the lowering part. That's the eccentric part of the movement. That actually does more stimulation for your muscle fibers and gives you the greater benefit of it. So practice that and make sure you get on point. After that, we have weighted diamond push-ups and we're gonna do four sets of 15 and 20. I personally like using bags of rice or like sand or anything like that because it moves, it's malleable and like moves around your thing. Like if I just use weight plates or anything like that, it gets, it, they fall off or they like rip up my backpack. So I'm doing them like standard diamond push-ups. And then if I have a triple, I can always go to my knee. Remember, you can always go on your knees if you feel like you can't go any further. Phrasing. All right, next exercise is frog hops. Never do them like this with a barbell. I did this when I was a teenager copying this episode, and I hurt my back for two weeks. So just use a weighted bar. I'm using a nice 50-pound bar here, and I'm just jumping there and back. And that's just a short distance I've chosen to go there and back from. And after that, I'm going to get the handstand push-ups. This is kind of the same thing I said with the Rock Lee. They are really difficult to master because it takes core control and all that jazz. So I left a description. In the description below, I left a thing of how to like do a handstand because once you master these, you feel incredible. I only suggest doing four sets of five to eight reps. After that, we have sword practice. Now, I'm not good with a sword. Like, my friend Kyle has taught me some, like, ninja moves because he's a ninja, and it's so funny. Like, I get to, like, practice these and show off, but I am by no means, like, a swords master whatsoever. So I left a description below of how to, like, practice these, like, katas and stuff like that because, like, if you try doing the thing what Zora's doing right here with the weights, like, it could fling off and hit someone. Like, just imagine doing that shit in the gym. Like, you you could probably smack someone and you get thrown out. So just practice with the sword. The little things are in the description below because I just look like I'm swinging a bat. <laughs> After that, we're finishing up with some military presses. I actually had to use just a bar for this because my shoulder was kind of twinging. And so, you know, it's just standard. Make sure you pick a respectable weight. Don't go past your limits and make sure to keep your back nice and strong while doing these while pressing up. Well, dudes and dudes, I hope you enjoyed today's Tough Like the Tunes. It was really fun to make. And uh, if you want to see more Tough Like the Tunes, be sure to follow me on my Patreon account. They help support me and help me get all my stuff ready. Also, be sure to follow me on my uh, Facebook page, my Twitter account, and my Tumblr page, and my Instagram account, because like I always give hints to like what the next little video I'm working on, so it's always cool to uh, have you guys, and it's love to see your support as well. Well, dudes and dudettes, I hope you enjoyed today's Tough Like the Tunes. I hope it was really challenging, but fun for you. And remember, like I always say, you can always find the full workout below. And remember, like I always say, keep calm and booyah on, and don't forget, moment time. Now go train hard.